Hey, what's up, guys? Camp and Rusher here. Big news today about the Doctor Doom Mythic. They've increased the spawn rate, but only for a limited time. We'll get to that. We're also talking about Fort Nightmares, everything you need to know about it, the reveal of Clombo, and much more. Stick with me. So let's start with the news that dropped just today. About 30 minutes ago, Fortnite Status tweeted this. Doom has heard your cries of mercy and has chosen more Doom. This weekend, the Isle of Doom will appear more frequently in battle royale and zero build drop in now capture the island and achieve your victory von doom and just a note that this does not appear in ranked or tournament matches so a couple things here they have increased the chance of you getting doom's loot island by seven percent so the old rate was five percent one in 20 games is when this island would spawn and it now has a 12 percent chance to spawn each game so basically one in every eight or so games the doom loot island poi will be there and then i mean how many games will you actually get to play as doom that's up to you. That's up to you. I wish you luck in your battles. It should give you a much better chance to at least have a shot at this thing, right? The weird thing is, though, another weird thing, this whole process of the Doom Island, like, I, I do love it. I'm glad it's here. But the 5% thing, I mean, I said it in my last video, we knew they were going to increase the rate. It was just way too low. But now they say that this weekend, so in my mind, this is only going until Monday morning, the end of Sunday night, the 12% rate that is, and then they will go back to the 5% rate next week. Reminder, this is only a three week long event. And yeah, it's just another weird one here. I feel like they're just testing the waters. Like they're gonna do this 12% for the weekend and they may even bump it up again during the week or next weekend. So uh, that's not a guarantee though. I mean, maybe these are the best odds you will get. But they're definitely testing like some type of limited event theory to see if it gets a bunch more players on the game, right? There's got to be something there. Speaking of Doom, we got to show you this video. Fortnite, the Tower of Doom activates. And we saw this in the trailer and I mentioned it briefly in a older video. But it is now here. So Doom, once he sends the floating island for you to gain his mythic power, he begins watching everyone on the island through his huge tower. And that's where like the hologram of his face above the tower. We saw that shot in the trailer, like I said. That's why it's there. It was teasing this whole uh, Doom mythic situation we've got going on right now. So just kind of a little nice feature if you are at that POI at any time during one of those matches. Just take a peek up at the tower. Okay, the next Fortnite update has been announced. It's what we thought, September 17th, okay? But with this update, Epic announced the Lego Clombo update officially, and it is called Lost Isles. So the wait is over almost over right we've known about clombo for a while we actually have an official look at it the big teaser live stream that the lego fortnite team's been doing is now fully complete with the last piece of the clombo being placed so gives us an idea of what it looks like i mean it looks cool i'm such a fan of clombo i want him to come back to battle royale as well but i don't think that's happening we were talking in yesterday's video about the iron man update and September 17th is the release of the new Iron Man item shop skin according to the files and then also the new I am Iron Man story quest line that's also September 17th so everything makes sense we kind of knew this was happening so not only is it big for Lego it's big for BR too and it's big for Iron Man fans make sure to subscribe by the way turn your notice on I'll keep you up to date as soon as we get that reveal okay a new leak a world famous content creator will be getting their own icon series skin in the next Fortnite update this leak is coming from the same person who also leaked the upcoming new jeans collab so basically it's gonna happen we don't know which content creator but it should be revealed soon. Okay, time to talk Fort Nightmares. This is everything we know along with a pretty cool theory. And this is one where I want you to leave some comments down below because I, I just think this Fort Nightmares with the entire Marvel season being a part of it, there's so much potential for it. So let's talk about what we know first. Horde Rush is returning, as I talked about last video. It's going to be build mode enabled and it will be squads, of course. Augments will not be making a return to the mode this year. Lego Fortnite Halloween event teaser. This was also shown on the live stream, I believe, but gives us a look at 
some of the things that are planned for Lego Fortnite. There's some creepy, spooky stuff planned there. Fortnite Mare should release around mid-October, or at least we learn about everything mid-October, and then it'll run, you know, two, three weeks or so into our OG season. Because the OG season is planned, I believe November 2nd, right? Somewhere around there. So I, Fortnite Mares might run through the end of the season, which is even another reason why there might be such a big focus on it if it goes through the mini live event this season etc but some other stuff here fortnite mares 2024 will be codenamed near acorn and have two quest lines one for br and one for creative challenges there'll be a new fortnite mares bus and then wenzo adds on to this personally i believe that fortnite mares is codenamed because a collab will be heavily involved with it an example of this is summer road trip which had the code name flatware due to the cyber truck all sweat summer and all other summer events did not have proper code names so kind of a cool theory here and wenzo knows what he's talking about interesting point will it be a brand new collab or you know considering that marvel's already here will they consider that a big part of the collab one more uh, official thing to talk about and that is an upcoming fort nightmares boss pb they will drop a legendary wood stake shotgun legendary pumpkin launcher and flowberry fizz and this PB is the actual name most likely of the boss because that's how they do the code names. So, I mean, PB could be anything, but take your guesses down below. We could possibly get an anti-venom skin this Fortnite Mares. Some existing Marvel collabs got added to Fall Guys today, including anti-venom, who is not in Fortnite yet. So a potential there might make sense for Fortnite Mares. Now, here is the theory, okay? It comes from Cyan. And I think it's a pretty good one. Also, leave any theories you've got down below as you're reading this. But here it is. Fortnite's dead Galactus could be important. In comics, at one of the Marvel Zombies runs, Galactus' death is a big cause of the zombie infection. Could that be maybe why they chose to bring him dead back into Fortnite, right? The big statue of him. Uh, it's not really a statue. It's him damaged in the ocean there. Could be fun for Halloween alongside Mephisto. And I mean, yeah, the, the main point for me here is, is Galactus involved in this? But also there is Marvel zombies coming soon. And obviously Marvel Disney wants to use Fortnite to promote things that are on the way, that are current, that are soon. And it would make a lot of sense. There's also that one episode of What If. I haven't actually seen all of What If, but I've seen the Marvel zombies one. And it really would work. So... It's a heck of a theory. I hope Galactus is involved somehow. I really hope they do something big here because I think the potential is just so, so big. There's also the other theory from the start of this season, which is Doom's mother, Cynthia Von Doom. Maybe he's trying to bring her back from the dead. There's been no indication of this. It's just the statues and... Obviously, he just loves his mother. It's not, it, Maybe that's just it, right? That's why the statues are there and everything. But we like to reach a little bit and say, you know, maybe she comes back from the dead and brings an army with her. And that's kind of the Fort Nightmares plot line. Or it's something completely random and we are not even close. But it's fun to theorize. And there's just so much potential here because of the Marvel season. Okay, I showed you this in yesterday's video, upcoming storyline loading screen. And it should give us a shot potentially at where the story's going. Like we know Hope and Doom are going to fight. But the reason I bring this up again is because Hope was first planned to attack Doom with just a pickaxe, then a broken cap shield turned into a sharp weapon, then the more natural broken shield. But Fortnite chose to go with the normal shield with just scratches on it instead. And I thought this was just cool. They released official concept art. The timeline of the photo and just the little changes they made as they went from concept to, you know, final product, final loading screen. So, yeah, I mean, I think they made the right call here. Going in with the pickaxe compared to Captain America's shield is night and day. So I'm glad they made the switch. It looks very good. That's all I got. Thanks for watching, you guys. Subscribe. Take care. Talk soon. Goodbye.